Well, here we are. We have opened Mr. Farmer Harry's gift bag and found in it locally made wine by himself. So we know it's made with a lot of love. And all of this ginger that he has planted in his garden. We, again, thank you, Farmer Harry. This is wonderful. This ginger come in at the right time that I could make ginger beer. Not carrot, not star, but ginger beer. But before we go in to the ginger beer part of it, I would like to tell you all, all the benefits of ginger. Ginger is good for digestion. If you like to eat like me, you sometimes get indigestion. So a good cup of hot ginger after I eat too much settles my stomach. It improves immunity. So far, thank God I didn't get COVID, so maybe it's only ginger drinking. Relieves nausea and upset stomach, which goes with digestion. Reduce pain. Lance, you must try some for your back, you know. Oh, God, yes. I, I will try. I don't think I ever give it ginger for pain. No, I'm not really. Not so, really. <laughs> gives healthier skin. Yes. Hey. And it helps weight loss as well. I never realized that until when I Googled it, I see that you it improves weight loss. So, <laughs> and it's usually good for fighting colds and arthritis, migraines, hypertension. Well, I never use it for all those things, but I know that ginger beer is, ginger is really a great food. Super food, one of the super foods is ginger. Now, when we were children growing up, ginger beer and sorrel was Christmas drink. And I remember Tantan, I mentioned Tantan before, this little lady who was very good to us, she was like a mother, and Tantan will have us wash the ginger, scrape the ginger, grate the ginger, and she usually put it out in the sun for a whole day. And that is how you always know you make ginger beer. But later years in life, you realize you get ginger now, fresh, good ginger, which I am going to do tonight. Scrape the ginger, wash the ginger, scrape it, put it in the blender. You don't even have to fight up your wrist to grate. Put it in the, in the microwave. And then... Microwave? Sorry, boy. <laughs> You better chew piece now, you know, because... I better chew piece, it, I'm going to good for memory loss. Good for the brain. <laughs> you better chew piece one time, eh, girl? Put it in the microwave, yeah. wow. Then you blend up, mm -hmm. and add some cloves, and you boil it, and you leave it overnight. Yeah. And the next day, you strain it, and you add the sugar to taste. Well, it can use a lot of sugar, but now with people being diabetics, you may not want to use as much sugar. So I would say sweeten to taste to your likings and to suit your health problem. So, and add some Angostura bitters, and simple as that, you're drinking ginger beer, not star, not carob, ginger beer. So, thanks again, Mr. Harry. We're not sure what type of wine it is, but when we taste it, we're sure we will know what exactly the flavor is. Thank you so much and all the best. Happy days to all.